Hello lovelies, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video, which is going to be a full on, full face of Huda Beauty makeup. I was thinking back that I hadn't used her eyeshadow palettes in a while and I thought, you know what, let's just make this a full on Huda Beauty get ready with me. I think that would be fun. Anyways, if you're interested in hanging out, just kind of putting makeup on my face, maybe grab your Huda products as well. And let's go ahead and get started. Real quick, you guys, those of you who are a regular know that my background is looking a little different. I just decided to change it up for a little bit. I'm kind of trying to see what works best. And uh, I thought, well, you know what, for today, we're going to we're going to test this out. So we'll see if this stays. I don't know. I may still try a few other things. But for now, this is the background that we're going with. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. We've got some great stuff to put on our face. Nothing new though. I am a huge fan of the Huda Beauty line um, or brand, I guess I should say. And so her products just work for me, honestly. So we're going to play with, I say play with, I mean, these are products I know and love, obviously. So this is what we're putting on our face. You guys know Tantor is my favorite, one of my favorite cream contours. The Huda Easy Bake, my favorite powder of life. And today we're gonna do the Naughty Nudes palette. We're going to use that one on the face. I'm realizing as I'm pulling stuff out by the brand that I need Huda Beauty to come out with some blushes. I don't know, maybe that's next, who knows? Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Starting off with the shade Juicy and using a BH Cosmetics blending brush, I'm just going to lay this down in my crease. I had forgotten how pigmented these shadows are. It's been a minute since I have used a Huda palette and I was just so pleasantly surprised in remembering how much I really do love her palettes. So as usual, going in with two layers of this shade, I like to get my crease nice and saturated with pigment and this did not disappoint. Moving into the shade Naughty with a different blending brush. This is also uh, by BH Cosmetics and just placing this on the outer portion of my crease. I'm being super messy with this shade, just kind of even bringing it down to my lid. Um, this is going to be the shade that adds that depth and dimension. And just as with the last shade, it's so pigmented, so easy to work with. I'm seriously hoping she comes out with a new palette sometime soon because it's time. I'm ready for a new one. <laughs> So now just placing my Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer as I typically do because I'm going to go in with a more uh, standout kind of shade as I like to call them. So just placing this as my tacky base. Next, using my finger, I'm just going to go in with the shade Please Me. This is a very beautiful standout shade and it's got some flecks of sparkle built into the formula. It is absolutely stunning. Her, again... Her formulas are just so good and this palette's going on a year and it still feels very fresh, goes on so, so nicely. Going in with the shade Shameless, also using my finger and I'm placing this on the innermost portion of my lid, just kind of meeting up uh, right next to where I placed that Please Me shade. And then of course using a little detailer brush because my fingers can't get into the little areas where my lid meets my crease and just blending that all in, making it look a little seamless, covering up the bald spots. You know what I mean. <laughs> So now using a BH Cosmetics blend, this is a, like a BH Cosmetics video, <laughs> just using the shade Spicy and just deepening up that outer portion of the lid right where I placed that naughty shade. This one just helps build that up a little bit more, adds a little bit more of a sultry effect without looking too overdone. All right, guys, so now it's time to go in with my glowish, I don't know, skin tint, I guess. Can't even remember what the thing is called, but I love this product so, so much. It has done, it's just so pretty. I don't know if wonders for my skin as far as like skin care, but using it with my foundation, even on its own, it gives me the kind of finish that I love, literally live for. <laughs> using my Huda double-ended brush, favorite foundation brush of life you guys. I am seriously considering getting a backup 
which I never do because brushes last me forever. This, however, I don't want to be without and so I, I really think I'm going to get another one. Just this foundation side buffs everything in so nicely without making it look streaky and gross. It just, I don't know, melts it into the skin quite frankly. So I did also put in some of that Huda Stick foundation and that with the Glowish, they are a dynamic duo, let me tell you. So now I'm going to go in with the Huda Concealer um, and I'm just placing this under, so I dot this. I don't just kind of sweep because it's a very thick concealer and it looks very overdone if you just kind of sweep in the triangle way that a lot of people do. So I literally just dot this, which is her method. I mean, when this first came out a long time ago, that was the basically the instruction. You kind of dot it and then blend it out. It's, again, very, very thick, so it is high coverage. Um, but if you're not careful, it can look a little bit too much. Going in with my Tantor Cream Bronzer. I've told you all this is my favorite bronzer ever. It's so easy to use, and it looks so beautiful on the skin. It looks so healthy. I would say the only other cream bronzer that gives me a healthy look like this is the Say cream bronzer. I think that one is just amazing as well. Blending in that concealer with the triangle side of the brush, which again, it is so perfect because it's dense and it blends everything out perfectly, but it's got that little triangle shape to where it really fits into that crevice, that corner where, where your eye is. So. Then moving into back into my Tantor um, product and just, I'm not good at contouring y'all, so I kind of try to be as careful as I can, but it ends up looking sloppy and muddy. So I will end up cleaning it up after. It's no big deal, but again, so easy to use, so easy to work with. Just, I feel like Huda in so many ways has been very innovative in her products and it is rare that I don't like a product that she releases. So when it comes to bronzing my nose, y'all, I'm not careful. I'm, yes, I'm a little sloppy. I don't use like a very tiny brush like most people do. I literally just try to go on the sides of my nose. Um, and then, of course, under my chin just to kind of get it to look cohesive so that I don't have some sort of random line under there. It just all looks nice and bronzed and glowy. And then going in with my favorite powder of life, the Huda Easy Bake Powder. And I'm just going to place this under my eyes. Very careful about my placement because most powders these days can make my under eyes look kind of dry. Um, so I start sweeping under my eye like about halfway. Like I don't start right in the innermost corner because that's where it'll end up looking the most crepey. Um, and then a lot of times I'll just bring it down to like right there with a crevice of my nostril or whatever. But this powder, again, just like the Tantor, is my favorite powder of life. Some have co come and some have gone and none has taken this one's place. <laughs> So now I'm literally just very lightly dusting powder all over my face. I try not to be too heavy with it because again, I'm not looking for a very heavy look to the face, especially because I used that glowish skin tint. So I'm looking for it to look kind of natural, like my skin, but better. And seriously, all of these products combined do it for me. Now with a pencil brush, I'm going back into the shade Spicy. This is going to be what I use on my lower lash line. If you're a regular on my channel, you know I am so predictable that way. Whatever is the deeper shade that I use on the lid, typically it's the shade I'm going to use on my lower lash line. And it's really just to tie it all together, just to give it a little bit more of a spoky look. I mean, there's a lot of times I don't even do the lower lash line, but seriously, this look called for it. Oh my goodness, you guys, contact lenses and lower lash line shadow, it's a struggle bus, let me tell you. So just adding that so that it just, like I said, ties it all together, makes it look a little bit smokier, a little bit sultrier. I mean, come on, it is the Naughty Nudes palette, so we're looking to look sultry. So next, going in with Flower Power and a small detailer brush. The eyeshadow in the contacts, y'all, it's a real thing, seriously. You, if you know, you know. <laughs> so going in with just that little brush and placing that um, flower power shade in my inner corner just to brighten it up. Again, something I don't always do, um, but seriously, it really just brings it all together. 
especially for this look. I don't have a Huda blush. Maybe by putting it out there, maybe something will come out. I don't know, <laughs> but I would love to see Huda Beauty come out with some blushes. I'm just going to use the ColourPop Powerpuff Girls blush. It's kind of what I've been reaching for here lately, and it is perfect for this look. It's called Saving the World, and you guys know, can't go wrong with ColourPop blushes. Again, I'd rather be telling you that I'm using a Huda blush, but in this case, we'll be patient. I'm sure it's only a matter of time. All right, so I'm gonna go in with one of her latest bullet lipsticks. Um, this one's in the shade Buttercup, and I am such a fan of these lipsticks. Now, they don't stay on for a super long time, but definitely longer than I would have thought, given the fact that they are super creamy, they're very emollient, and they're really pigmented. I think Angel, which is the pink one that I have, is even a little bit more pigmented and long-lasting than this one, but this is just such a great formula and I really do want to pick up more um, from the line. I'm just gonna go in, this is not a Huda lip liner because I have not found one in store. They're always sold out. I have a couple of Huda liners. They're one of my favorite formulas. I'm not making this up. Like all of her stuff is, <laughs> some sounding like a broken record, but um, this one's just a KKW. I think it's nude one or 1.5. And you guys, that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this full face using Huda Beauty products. Alrighty, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that get ready with me. Kind of quick and easy, but just a reminder for me anyways, how much I love Huda Beauty products. Seriously, this was such an easy and flawless application of makeup. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see what she brings out, I hope for holiday. So maybe another palette. I don't know. But anyways, that brings us to the end of the video, you guys. Before I let you go, I just want to give you a very quick verse of the day to encourage you. It comes from James 1.12 and it says, Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. If you are of the faith, if Jesus is everything to you, if he is Lord of your life, then I encourage you to stand firm. No matter what trials come your way, no matter what life is throwing at you at this very moment and in the times to come, who knows? Just encourage you to stand firm. If you don't already know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it is my prayer that he make him ever, himself ever so real to you that you would feel an absolute presence, a love and peace that you have never felt before, and that you would know that it is him calling your name. All right, guys, I love each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next video. So until then, stay safe and stay well. Talk to you soon. Bye, friends.